you style this sweet son? Her dotage now I do begin to pity, for meeting her of late behind the woods, seeking sweet favours for this hateful fool, I did upbraid her and fall out with her. And when I had at my pleasure taunted her, and she in mild terms begged my patience, I then did ask of her her changeling child, which straight she gave me, and a fairy sent to bear him to my bower in fairyland. But now I have the boy, I will undo the hateful imperfection of her eyes. And gentle Puck, take this transformed scalp from off the head of this Athenian swain, that he awaking when the other do may all back to Athens again repair, and think no more of this night's accidents but as a fierce vexation of a dream. But first, I will release the fairy queen. Be as thou was wont to be, see how thou was wont to see. Diane's board o'er Cupid's flower have such force and blessed power. Diane's board o'er Cupid's flower have such force and blessed power. Now am I to time. Wake you, my sweet queen. <gasps> my Oberon! Oh. oh, what visions have I seen! <laughs> Methought I was an amad of an ass. <laughs> there lies your love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how came these things to pass? Oh, my mind's to loathe this visage now. Silence a while. Robin, take off this head. To turn your music call and strike more dead than common sleep of all these five descents. Music! Music such as charmeth sleep! <coughs> now when thou wakes with thine own fool's eyes peep! Now thou and I are new in anti. And will tomorrow night solemnly dance in Duke Theseus's house triumphantly, bear it to all fair prosperity. There the pair of faithful lovers be wedded with Theseus, all in jollity. Fairy king, attendant mark, I do hear the morning lark. Then, my queen, in silent sad, trip we after night shade. We the globe shall come pursue, swifter than the wandering moon. Come, my lord, and in our flight tell me how it came this night I was sleeping here found uh, with this mortal on the ground. <laughs> Elvis is a lovely mover this man. 